Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be an adventure, mystery, and horror movie from 2009 called Afterlife. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie begins with Elliot, who has a daily routine of talking to dead bodies, promising to make them look alive, and then photographing them. However, the main focus shifts to Anna, who we see in an uncomfortable situation with her boyfriend, Paul. While they are intimate, Anna appears unhappy, which causes tension between them. Later, Paul tries to make amends while Anna showers, but despite her assurances of happiness, her expression suggests otherwise. Anna then goes to the school where she works and intervenes when she sees two older students bullying a younger one, Jack. Jack thanks her and points out a chick he thinks is dead, but Anna reassures him that it's just scared. As Anna leaves the school, the hallway lights flicker off, frightening her. The door locks, but Jack reappears, turns on the lights, and opens the door effortlessly. Next, Anna attends her old piano teacher's funeral. On her way, she realizes she's out of pills and stops at a pharmacy. She also visits a hairdresser for a new look. At the funeral, the widow is surprised that Elliot chose her late husband's favorite flowers. Anna thinks she sees the corpse move its mouth but dismisses it as her imagination. That evening, Paul meets Anna at a restaurant and comments on her new hairstyle, which he thinks doesn't suit her. He reveals he's moving to Chicago for work and tries to propose, but Anna, thinking he's breaking up with her, argues and leaves abruptly. Driving in the rain, she narrowly avoids an accident with a white van and starts to use her phone, not noticing another car overtaking her before everything goes black. The flashback ends in a morgue where Anna, now with a pale face and a head wound, finds herself. Elliot, preparing her body, is interrupted when she opens her eyes and calmly asks where she is. He tells her she's in the morgue because she's dead. We find out that Anna died in a collision with a truck carrying metal pipes eight hours earlier. Elliot tells her that her body has stopped circulating blood and is decomposing. Anna appears confused and in disbelief. To convince her, Elliot shows her a death certificate, but she remains in denial, able to speak but not move, and insists it's a mistake. Frustrated, Elliot leaves. Meanwhile, Paul wakes up at Anna's place and tries calling her, but her phone and other belongings are with Elliot, who puts the missed calls aside and stores the phone in a closet filled with similar bags. Paul goes to Anna's mother's house with flowers, where he learns of Anna's death and faces her mother's blame. Back at the mortuary, Elliot talks to a corpse's photo as though it's alive. He then ignores Anna's pleas not to hurt her as he stitches her wounds and injects her with a muscle relaxant. Later, Anna's mother visits, requesting that Elliot restore Anna's hair to its natural brown. Alone again, Anna tries to check her pulse and feels pain by hitting herself, but fails. She attempts to make a phone call with an old, non-working phone. When Paul arrives at the mortuary, desperate and sad, Elliot refuses him access to Anna's body due to lack of legal ties. Anna, behind a door, screams for Paul, but he cannot hear her. Paul, driven by desperation, goes to the police station to find his friend Tom, but Tom isn't there. While waiting, Paul sees Anna's car and enters it, experiencing visions of her until Tom snaps him out of it. Meanwhile, Anna finds scissors and hides them, planning to attack Elliot. She attempts to escape but fails as the doors are locked. She even threatens Elliot but can't follow through. It's then that Elliot confesses his unique ability to communicate with the dead. Later, Anna wakes up to see an old woman looking straight at her and ominously says, You're not ready. This vision causes her to panic and wreck the room, but Elliot doesn't notice because he is at the old woman's funeral, having a heartfelt conversation with Jack. The next day, Paul hears Anna's whispers and thinks he sees her, but it turns out to be just a dream. Meanwhile, Elliot returns with Anna, hangs a dress and his jacket on a rack, and shows her the dress intended for her funeral. While Elliot is busy, Anna sneakily takes the keys from his pocket. Elliot then leaves in his white van for a gas station, and Anna uses the stolen keys to eventually unlock the door and escape the room. When Elliot goes to pay at the gas station, he realizes he's forgotten his keys and hurries back. Anna reaches the front door, and seeing Elliot return, she runs outside, finds a phone, and calls Paul, but the call is full of static. Just then, Elliot catches her, shows her a mirror, and her corpse-like appearance convinces her that she's dead. However, two unnoticed things occur. Jack is outside watching her, and Elliot sees this. Also, Anna breathes on the mirror, fogging it up, which shouldn't be possible if she were dead. Elliot quickly wipes it away without her noticing, and convinced of her death, Anna stops resisting his preparations and doesn't pay attention to what he injects her with. Another day passes and Paul is at school collecting Anna's belongings when Jack tells him he saw Anna in a red dress at the mortuary the night before. 
Paul, upset, tells him to stop joking, but Jack insists, suggesting Paul doesn't love her enough, which angers Paul and leads him to hit Jack. Meanwhile, a policeman visits the mortuary to see his brother's body next to Anna's. He requests to be alone but then approaches Anna's body with inappropriate intentions, only to be caught by Elliot. After this, Elliot finds Jack talking to a corpse and confirms Jack saw Anna the previous night. He tells Jack they share a unique gift and promises to teach him everything about it. Meanwhile, Paul recalls that Anna wore a red dress the last morning they were together, just as Jack had mentioned. He suspects she might be alive, rushes to the mortuary, and confronts Elliot, demanding to see her. Elliot refuses and threatens to call the police, causing Paul to leave but not give up. He visits his friend Tom and shares his suspicions that Anna's death was hastily declared and she might have been drugged. Tom is skeptical but another policeman mentions a drug called hydronium bromide which can cause paralysis quickly. Paul also mentions the phone call he thinks was from Anna but his concerns are not taken seriously. Tom tries to convince Paul that his ideas don't make much sense. Meanwhile, Elliot is preparing Anna for her funeral when they have a deep conversation. Anna admits she has never been happy and explains that her mother taught her that to love was to suffer, leading her to vow never to love until she met Paul. Regretting not telling him she loved him, Elliot opens the door inviting her to leave if she really wants to live. Anna then walks out to her house where she finds her mother, Paul, and some old women who are conducting what seems like an exorcism. Roots ensnare her and she spits out insects but then she snaps back to reality, finding herself at the door too scared to leave. Elliot comments that she, like most, is more afraid of living than dying. Anna then resigns herself to the idea of being dead. Elliot prepares her grave and Jack asks him to teach him as he had promised. Elliot explains that the grave is not because Anna is dead but because there is no life left in her. He expresses his disdain for what he perceives as the selfishness of the living, claiming it's his duty to bury them. On the day of the funeral, Elliot injects Anna with a muscle relaxant that makes her skin appear alive, revealing the substance is hydronium bromide, the same drug mentioned by the policeman to Paul. Anna asks for a mirror as her last wish, and when she sees her breath fog up the glass, she starts to doubt her death. Elliot dismisses it as her imagination. As the drugs weaken her, Elliot takes a photo of her. At the funeral, Anna's mother is touched by the presence of her favorite flowers, which Elliot chose. Paul, accompanied by Tom, places an engagement ring on Anna's finger. Anna's lips and eyelids twitch, prompting a nervous Elliot to close the coffin quickly. As they leave the funeral, Paul apologizes to Jack, who reminds him that he never said Anna was alive, just that he saw her. Elliot then adds Anna's photo to a wall filled with similar photos. Anna wakes up screaming in her coffin, running out of oxygen. Meanwhile, Paul races to the cemetery in the rain. A bright light blinds him momentarily and an ambulance overtakes him, heading toward where Elliot's truck is parked, now with Jack by his side. They talk about how it's all over. Paul arrives at the cemetery and frantically digs up Anna's coffin. She breathes again and tells him she loves him, but then Paul hears a noise. Anna tells him it's the sound of scissors cutting his clothes. Paul then wakes up on a stretcher in the mortuary, paralyzed. Elliot tells him he died in a car crash and couldn't make it to the cemetery. As Elliot drives a metal spike into Paul's body, causing him pain until he passes out, Paul insists he isn't dead, hinting at an afterlife experience. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.